Now, as the University the of Nairobi after Professor Margaret Chesang accepted, the university's academic staff union has strongly condemned the occurrences surrounding the removal of Professor Stephen Kiama as the university vice chancellor, saying there is need to follow due process in his removal. The union has also issued a seven-day notice to proceed with industrial action if the leadership wrangles, among other demands, are not properly addressed. Our reporter Sami Adika with more. A day after Professor Margaret Chesang accepted appointment as the University of Nairobi acting vice chancellor to replace the embattled Professor Stephen Kiama. To commit myself to giving the best service that I can, God enabling me, that we together can deliver excellence for this university and make sure that we maintain and celebrate the legacies of those who have gone before us. University Academic Staff Union, UASU, UON chapter, Solidarity. led by its Secretary General Maloba Wekesa, has accused the university's council of meddling with the institution's top leadership. Humiliating a full professor at the university in the prisons of the university itself is wrong. It's unwarranted that it's very demeaning. We are urging the university council, take all the evidence you have, because we have been, we've just had that, I don't know, he has 20 billion missing or something like that. Take all that evidence to the investigative arms of the government. Wasu says the leadership instability is greatly affecting its staff as there has been instances of delay in salary disbursement. Once labor is served, salaries are paid. It is not a favor. Nor does it depend on the magnanimity of anyone, let alone the council. The delay in disbursing the July salaries to the staff of the University of Nairobi is actually a result of the university council not getting its act together. The leaders now want the Ruto led government to intervene and ensure the wrangles are fully resolved. We are now calling again on the government to intervene with urgency. Let the leadership rise away from the squabbles that we are seeing. Highlighting a number of issues affecting its members at the University of Nairobi, the leaders have threatened to take industrial action if their demands are not addressed in seven days. The University Council needs to act on the demands we are asking. Failure of which we will go back to our members and ask them to shelve their labor. That is the due process of the law. And we are saying this in the presence of the National Secretary General, who is in agreement. With Professor Margaret Chesang having taken over Professor Stephen Kiyama's office in an acting capacity, will her leadership and wrangles and leadership instability witnessed for a while now in the oldest institution of higher learning in the country and provide a good working environment for its staff? Or will it worsen the situation well known to those at the helm of the institution's top leadership? Solidarity for, for Newswatch, I'm Sami Adika. Makes us strong.